Hey, babe. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Zakia. And uh, I'm so excited to do this video. It's a long awaited video. I think I've had this wig for like four years or something like that. I should have been in this video and I'm so excited. So I'm not, I'm not gonna talk too long. We're just gonna get straight into the video because this is so exciting to finally be able to get myself a new different hairstyle and I'm doing it myself, baby. So obviously, as you saw from the title, we are doing a wig over my locks. Let me show y'all my locks. Girl, shut the up. Cause I got a lot of them. Like, the hair, the hair is long, okay? And we're about to put a wig over all this hair. Stop it. Get some help. Ooh, maybe I need to put that cat back on. <laughs> all right, y'all don't mind my hair because the reason that my hair is loose is because I'm growing out my hair so that I can actually cut it off eventually. I'm just not ready yet, and I don't know when I'm ever gonna be ready, but I don't twist my roots anymore. For me to be able to, when I am ready to cut it off, I can just snip, snip, and I'll have a head full of hair. My locks are still growing super long. Whoa, okay, I got a lot of hair. So this wig I got from Hair Vivi. The wig is still in great condition. This is the wig. So this wig is called Catalina. It's a deep wave 360 wig Indian virgin hair. 360 means that it has lace all the way around the entire frame. Well duh. So if I wanted to put it up in a ponytail, I can. I pay like 180 or something like that. It's 180% density. This is an 18 inch. I asked for them to bleach the knots. It was an extra $15, but I, at that point, didn't really know anything about wigs and I didn't know how to like get ble knots bleached and stuff like that, so or how to do them. I, it does need some customization. It, it does, because like, what is this? And like I said, it's already bleached for me. They actually, I feel like over bleached it, but um, after we tint the lace and stuff, we gonna see how it all lays. Um, any wig companies out there that wanna send me a wig? I'm trying to start really doing wigs over locks, which I think is really a fun thing to see. Any wig companies out there that wanna send me a wig, hit me up, my uh, email is in the bio, okay? In the description box, baby. With the wig came some gifts. They gave me a rat tail comb. I got a wig cap that had two wig caps in it and some hair clips. Let's get into it, cause I don't wanna talk too much. I'm gonna have to edit too much. Ah! I've already moisturized my hair. I mean, they are shining, glistening. They look so beautiful and they feel so good. I don't have any hair on the sides, so we're gonna braid. I feel like I'm gonna try to do five braids and make it as flat as possible on top. So my method was to try to get my hair as flat as possible so that I had a seamless foundation. And that kind of required me to try to do this really like a puzzle piece. As you see, uh, my roots are loose because I'm growing out my hair and I'm really just trying to grip and get it as tight and as close to my scalp as possible and really piece it all together. I really didn't have a real method in what I was doing. I was just going with the flow and figuring it out as I go. I feel like that's what this whole experience is about is you know, trial and error and really just figuring out what you can as you go along, especially with my locks being so long. I was, I knew it was going to already be a process of me like trying to get them all to fit together and get as flat as possible so that I could have the best foundation. I also didn't want it to be too tight, especially since I didn't want to have headaches. We all know that most braiders braid tight as hell. So I was really trying to braid loose and tight at the same time. My arms hurt. Look how flat. What's crazy is this did not end up being the final way that I had my hair, but I did want to show you all that you can get locks very flat, even long locks, you can get it very flat so that you can have a really good foundation. But I ended up realizing that I was gonna need to do a, a lot more work on this head. That's flat. Can't nobody tell me this ain't flat. Look at that. Do I even have hair? We are about to sew these down. I know what you're thinking. First of all, I had the wrong string and the wrong needle. I was sticking myself in my hand so many times during this experience. Trial and error, baby, trial and error. Music. 
Oh, I feel like it's too high up and too stick, sticking out too much. Mm -mm. Let's go get the rest of the stuff I need and then we'll be back. Hey, so I am back. Went and ran my errands, got all the stuff that I needed. I will show y'all what I got real fast. I wanted to first talk about the whole thing with locks, right? Is the construction. Nothing, none of that other stuff matters. You need the flattest foundation on top and everything else needs to be basically a puzzle piece in the back when you have long locks like I do. That's what I realized because I tried to do the five braids and try to finagle it and sew it down and it didn't work because it really needed to be where the locks were based, and I, especially because I don't have hair on the sides, which I'm happy I don't because it would be even worse, but the locks need to be basically like fitted into the sides and sewn down. So it just made my job a lot harder, but in the end, the outcome, because I don't want it to look like a big old wig sitting on top of my head, is gonna be better. This one I think I'm gonna actually fold it's gonna come up like this and then come back around into this middle part to fit in the middle part of my head right here this one is gonna come it's supposed to be underneath but it's gonna come to this side i went out and picked up the ebon wonder lace bond and also the proper string to sew down my hair out the wig because i was scared that it wouldn't fit my head. And I needed to see if it was gonna be able to cover my hair properly. So this one is gonna come this way. And down right here. What do you think, does that look flat? <sighs> Sorry y'all, this is gonna take longer, but you gotta do it, gotta do it the best way. I do not like wiggy looking hair, and I don't want no wig. Okay, I want it to look like scalp, baby. I wanted to give scalp. Girl, shut the up. I'm about to do this next one on the side right here. I already have my needle and thread ready. It's gonna go in. Let's talk about it. First of all, why is sewing down a wig so damn hard? <laughs> this shit is too fucking funny. This shit difficult. Can't nobody tell me it ain't difficult. I don't know how y'all hair people do this and do your own hair. Cause right now I'm frustrated. Like what the fuck? We need a special class just for the threading and knotting techniques that these hairstylists be using because your girl was confused. I had no idea what I was doing and no idea what I was getting myself into. I swear, props up to um, anybody that does hair, cause this is very hard, okay? In the end, I'm so happy that it all worked out. Like, the wig is still on my head, but what the heck was I doing? If you're over here trying to figure out how to freaking sew down your hair, just know that you're not alone and it is very frustrating and it is very hard to do. All right, so let's just see what it looked like. Cause that was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. I just had to do. And so, ugh, it's just pissing me off. It's pissing me off. Okay. It's supposed to be a big wig, which I like, but you feel like it's just kind of far and poofy. What y'all think? Y'all think it's okay? You gotta come all the way up here. To the front of my head. Oh, I'm frustrated. Okay, I'll be back. I'm frustrated. <laughs> this is not going the way it's supposed to go. It's just not going the way it's supposed to go. It's the perfectionist in me. I'll be back. I'm frustrated. I'll be back. Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight to need. Anybody who got eyes can see. She just wanna dance and tea. She just wanna dance and tea.